Well, welcome everyone. All right, I want a uh, special guest, Village President Wolf, Administrator Coons, Commissioner Geezy, Jason's parents, Carrie and Jim, fiance Lisa, and son Eli. Uh, today we come together to welcome an exceptional individual into our law enforcement family. I stand before you today with immense pride and anticipation to introduce Jason Smith. Joining the ranks of those who serve and protect our community uh, is a tremendous honor it comes with a commitment to uphold the values of justice, integrity, and respect that define our role in society. Jason has already shown exceptional dedication and a deep understanding of what it means to serve and protect. So in my opinion, uh, his journey of service to our community and the country is coming full circle. Born and raised here, Jason served the city of Stevens Point before joining the Wisconsin Army National Guard and then becoming a police officer for the city of Onalaska. So today marks the end of Jason's journey as he comes home to central Wisconsin and joins Culver City. So Jason, as you embark on this journey, remember that this profession comes with both challenges and rewards. You will face situations that will test your resolve and will require you to make decisions with both courage and empathy. Yet, I'm confident that with the full support of our colleagues, your family, and community, you will excel in your service. We're excited to witness this positive impact you're going to bring Clover, your presence here is a testament to the high standards that we as Clover PD uphold and the continuation of building a better and safer community. We eagerly anticipate that the positive changes you are going to bring here um, is going to have a huge impact for many, many years to come. And we're just thrilled to have you as part of our team. So welcome aboard. Thank you. All right. So at Clover, we do two oaths. Um, other departments just do one. So, first one is called the Law Enforcement Oath of Honor. So, repeat after me, raise your right hand. On my honor, on my honor, I will never betray my badge, never betray my badge, my integrity, my integrity, my character, my character, or the public trust, or the public trust. I will always have the courage, will always have the courage to hold myself and others, to hold myself and others accountable for our actions, accountable for our actions. I will always uphold the Constitution. I will always uphold the Constitution, the community, the community, and the agency I serve, and the agency I serve. So help me God. So help me God. Perfect. All right. Now, this is the official oath. One more time. Raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Jason Smith. Having been appointed to the office. Having been appointed to the office. A police officer. A police officer. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. <coughs> Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and will faithfully and will faithfully and impartially and impartially discharge the duties discharge the duties of said office to the best of my ability of said office to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God now is official. And since Jason does not have his uniform on yet, so we can't really do an official badge pinning. But what we, what we do here at Plover is we just basically hand him his metal badge uh, that he'll keep on him pretty much every day for the next 30 or so years while you're here with us. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. And now I will stop boring you with my speech, and it's all you have the floor. Oh, all right. Well, I just really want to uh, thank my family, Lisa, Eli, uh, for the encouragement, the support through the years. Um, we're really excited to be to be back in the central Wisconsin area, and I'm really thrilled and, and honored to be able to uh, serve the village of Clover. I look forward to a long career here. Mr. <laughs> Easy, do you have any words to say? Sure. First and foremost, uh, welcome and congratulations on behalf of myself and uh, Commissioner Whitrock, who had a commitment today, and my fellow police and fire commissioners. We are super excited to have you. Uh, we appreciate the fact that you're going to be here for 30 years. We all heard that. <laughs> so thank you very much for that. We're excited because uh, we need people like you. We need people that are out there that are courageous enough and selfless enough to embrace this field when a lot of people are running the other way. So. Keep in mind, and I'm sure you've already started to use your investigative prowess to determine that you've got a wealth of knowledge with you at that department over there. So never stop learning. There's some really wonderful, smart, professional people over there. 
And right next to them, there's some equally talented people in the fire department and the emergency medical services that can teach you as well. So keeping it short and sweet, congratulations again. Welcome, good luck on a long and safe career. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Last but not least, Administrator Coons. Good to see you again. <clears throat> so on behalf of the Village Board um, and President um, Gary Wolf, officially welcome you to the Village of Clover. Um, you're going to be joining a really accomplished, talented team over there in the Police Department, but I want you to know that's not your only support network. Um, there are many other employees here at the Village um, that have all gained the trust of the Police Department, trust what you guys do, and are here to support you and the rest of the, the department um, every day. Um, we work really well together. Um, you're going to be department heads from all of our different agencies that are willing to step up and, and help whenever the time arises. Um, and everybody is willing to do so um, based on the respect that's been gained by the department, by Chief Fox, Chief Before, and, and other um, police officers there as well. Also, I thank you for the most inter interesting interview I've ever been a part of. Uh, I've never interviewed somebody in a military vehicle before. Um, <laughs> while, while you're out um, doing you know, your, your even greater service um, to our country. So um, I want to credit you for your focus, because um, I remember there being a time during that interview when you were answering a, a question quite well, while somebody's behind you opening the door, grabbing stuff out of the back of the vehicle. Um, I don't know if they're aware that you were in there um, conducting an interview, but to keep your focus, um, you, you were on faith. You couldn't tell what was going on, um, or at least didn't show it. Um, so I give you a lot of credit um, for doing that. Um, I'm always proud when people choose Clover. Um, wow. I know I've been here for a little while, and many others have. We love it here. Um, we've been supported by our village board and our public for quite some time. But we're quite aware it is a choice um, to be here. And again, I'm proud to have been here. I'm proud to have the support of our village board that has supported employees in the village long before um, workforce shortages were a thing. Um, it's always been a, a sense of pride, I think, of our board. Um, I go back to a conversation that we had. I think it was my first year here, and I've worked for three other counties and another municipality, so I've been in government my whole life. Um, it was budget time, and we were talking about um, some potential changes to our health insurance. First time in a long time. Um, we brought up the concept of the village board, just identifying that, hey, we might need to look uh, something a little bit different, um, just because the numbers came back a little interesting. Um, and the first word out of three different members were, we're not going backwards, we're not making it worse. Whatever that cost is, just let us know we're, we're going to make it happen. That's not usually how that goes, right? Normally it's, all right, got to cut some, something, you know, raise some fees, here or there, but that's not what the board asked us to do. Um, so it just goes again to the support that we have from our board that comes from the public because of the quality of service that employees long before us have, have provided. So again, just on behalf of the village board and the village, just welcome to the team. Um, we're, we're honored and happy to have you here. All right, last but not least, the last part of our event that we do um, that makes Plover just a little bit unique is in most departments, after your 30 years of service, you get honored with a speech, cake, and ice cream. Where at Plover, we like to do a little bit different, where we want to start your journey with some cake um, and welcome you here. So with that said, we're done, and let's eat some cake. Thank you. <laughs>